here, my name is Tiffany Nicole. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for showing up another week and showing your support in today's video. I am doing a shoe haul. Now this has been requested under a couple of my other videos, but I had to really get the shoes together. They had to get here and because I wanted the video to be good. So it is a huge haul, two huge packages. I think I ordered about 20 shoes. Let me show you one of the packages because I already opened one up. I'm gonna show you how big it is. This is just one. I had another one this size. Y'all, this is huge. But I'm so excited. And of course I did Ego. Um, I have, I'm doing another shoe haul from a different company. Still waiting for those to come in, but let's get into this thing. Cause I'm ready to open this up. The shoes I've seen so far, I love them. All right, I got down here on the floor so I can open up these packages and as you can see it's stacked up it is 12 boxes in this one package so we're just gonna get right into this thing the first shoe i have now this one i have been seeing for a while so i was like yeah let me go ahead and get this it is this red shoe right here i'm sure it has a chain detail around the ankle oh my gosh everything about this is just so gorgeous especially since when i first saw this i was like man i don't have to worry about wearing an anklet since it already comes on the shoe i love everything about this and we have our straps okay and i live for a stripy heel i got it in this red it's showing up a, a brighter than it actually is it's actually a, a deeper red more of a deep strawberry red than it is showing up on camera y'all hopefully this is comfortable but we're gonna try it on and we're gonna see how this feels i forgot to mention with the red pair it is in the style genie and i got that in a uk7 usually with shoes that are open in the front and the back i have to size up so that's what I usually do. I am a true uh, US 8. So like I said, I got those in a size UK 7. Now, sometimes I'm able to pull a UK 6, which is a true U, uh, US 8. And with that being said, these shoes. Y'all get into this beautiful blue and it's showing up on camera perfectly. I love the thick heel on this shoe the thick wide heel on the shoe the perspex match the shoes that's one of the things that drew me to the shoe is that um in every color they had in this style the perspex match the shoes and i love that the blue trim match the shoes usually when you get a shoe it's like a black trim or a tan trim so when i see shoes with the same color trim as the sole it's always a plus in my book um, it has the strap. This goes around the ankle twice. This uh, toe detail, y'all. When I tried this shoe on, it was so comfortable. I think because it has a little bit of cushion and the thick heel really added onto it. So I definitely think that I could get a few hours of wear out of the shoes. And that's always a plus for us when we're going out because we want to be cute but comfortable at the same time. You don't want to be lipping around like a baby calf, okay? That's not cute, but yes, y'all. The also the square toe, um, because I have kind of a fat foot. I know it's not slim, so um, shoes with wide uh, with the square toe fit my feet a little bit better, or it looks more flattering on my feet. I'll say that. But get into this. Everything about this. It does have a tan bottom show this one more time everything about this i think i want to go back and look at this in yellow because i do need a pair of yellow heels i can't remember if i purchased a yellow pair in this haul or not every girl in my opinion every girl woman 
whatever needs a pink shoe in their collection so i'm sure to get a light pink and a hot pink but this go round, i picked up this hot pink y'all look at this this to me is a true hot pink usually um with me looking for hot pink shoes it's usually hit or miss because i'll get like the neon pink or it's um a brighter than what i would like but i like how deep this color is and y'all the knotting detail across here the straps across the foot and it did give this i don't know what this detail is on this heel i don't know what this is called but it's just like a, let me get this it's like a little cube on the end of the shoe as you can see uh i do have some straps on the shoe so it does strap um up the calf a little bit again square toe pink trimming i don't have any complaints i did try the shoe on it does have the same cushion that the blue one has so that is a plus i don't know i wonder how this one is going to wear though since the heel is thinner but i wonder if this square base will help out with the wear of the shoes but this i got in a size i don't know if i mentioned it or not i did get it in a uk 7 which is the us 9 and this style is actually called girl talks um they have this in purple green white this hot pink i'm not sure if they have black i originally wanted the purple but they are sold out in my size unfortunately so i got the next best thing which is this beautiful pink I feel like this is definitely a summer shoe. This color is um, a summer color. Um, I feel like bright oranges, hot pinks, yellows are good for the spring slash summer when you just want to add a pop of color to your outfit. So that's definitely what I'll be doing with these shoes. I'll probably do um, an all white outfit and use these shoes as the pop, the, the zhuzh for my outfit so i'm looking forward to that and you'll see the pictures on instagram if you follow me. now i've seen this style of shoe a couple times i've always been hesitant to buy it because i'm like this the design didn't make sense to me at all but i was like you know what i'm doing a shoe haul let me pick them up it's a beautiful color i got these in a uk7 and the style name is telepatia but it is these purple shoes, these gorgeous purple shoes with this gold heel. That was one of the main reasons I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. But this is what I mean when I say I didn't understand the design of the shoe. Like this strap here isn't really doing anything. I mean, I, gr I get it because we wear shoes all the time with this just one strap, this single strap there. But I just felt like... It would just look a little weird with this but um once i put it on i was like okay okay so i need this in other colors I, I felt like that's what this shoe was telling me but even the added strap detail the other shoes i've seen like this it was just a single strap around the ankle but the fact that this has longer straps sold me okay it got me but this is the shoe how it's showing up on camera it is a little bit brighter on camera than what it actually is the round detail on the toe here's the heel now the heel is not um a metal heel is actually plastic so you would definitely have to be careful with uh the chipping of this but it is very light it is sturdy though i will say that this heel is sturdy Moving on to another purple pair. I picked this up because, well, I selected this one because I wanted a lighter purple for more of a refreshing. I feel like the dark purple is more nighttime. I feel like this is more daytime. And this square toe, I love how um, short this heel was. That right there um, let me know that I could wear it longer. The braided detail for the straps also is another cute element they added. 
at the end of the straps on this shoe, I gotta take this off. But at the end of the straps on this shoe, they have these uh, silver tips, which is really fun and cute. Now I will say, this is not your typical square toe. This is really wide. I got this in a UK seven. Also the style is called Rossmore. I got this in a UK seven, which is a US nine. And I definitely could have just gotten a UK six. Um, so I could have my true size because it is a lot of space here on the toe. And then I have a little bit of space in the back. So I'll definitely have to send these back and get my true size but i do like these i do like the color um it's showing up true on camera as far as the color it has this protective plastic piece uh you can't really see it but this protective plastic piece on the toe so you don't get that cutting in the toe uh in between the toe which i usually have issues with with um thong shoes so that was very helpful when I tried these shoes on and it gave a little uh, sense of comfort. Also, there is a little bit of cushion right here where the ball of your foot will go. So, I mean, they have some elements in here to try to combat discomfort. I just really wish that this wasn't so wide. I feel like that's my only complaint on the shoe, how wide the toe part is. Another pair of blue heels I picked up were these in the style Raja. I got these in the UK, UK 7. Again, I could have gotten the UK 6. The reason for that is because this strap here that goes over the front of the foot is really wide. So my toes slide um, more forward than I thought they actually would. And so it leaves a space back here. So I feel like if I would have gotten a UK 6, it would have fit perfect. I wouldn't have had any complaints. There is some cushion going up the center of the foot. You can kind of see it on camera. Yes, this heel here. Um, it is some cushion. This toe pot is not uncomfortable. It has that um, that clear casing like the last shoe. So you don't have that cutting um, in between your toes with the straps that go with this button. This is in the style, I mean the color light blue. I'm be honest, I'm really not a fan of the blue that they chose. It just looks more, it's too washed out for me. So how it's showing up on camera is true. So I wish I would like more of a, a baby blue. This isn't baby blue to me. So that is my mistake. So I do wanna get this in another color. I do like the slanted heel detail. Um, also gives us some thickness for support. Um, I'm trying to think. The straps are fine. Um, I know they're tied up here, but I tried the other shoe on for the video. But the straps are fine. I just really need this tightened. I was looking at this shoe trying to see what my all my complaints are. So I have the color and this strap here. I wish this was tightened and then maybe this will work but other than that it is a okay shoe the square you know you have we have a slanted square on this so it's more flattering on my foot but that's this shoe what do y'all think about this i love the button detail right here which is why i got it and i was deciding between this blue and a white i think um now i wish i would have gotten the white i feel like it would have looked a little bit better speaking of white this is our next shoe i got this in a style tonka in a uk seven yet again another shoe that i could have gotten in a uk six now with this shoe if you have more of a fatter foot i would say size up because this is um this part here is a little slimmer meaning it's um tighter on the foot so definitely size up if you have a fatter foot but if you have a more narrow foot you could get um your true size so i do have a little bit of spacing in the back it's not too noticeable though so i could keep these these straps are extremely long um, when i tied them up they went almost to my knee so one more wrap around and they would have been to my knee so i do 
like these the toe box this is another shoe the toe box is wide i like the contrast between the big toe box and the really skinny heel i like how they did that then the strap here this asymmetrical strap um, this crisscrosses in the back as you start to tie up. So you do have some ankle support with this shoe. This is a matte white. Um, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but it is a matte white. So it's showing up really bright on camera. The white is not that bright. Um, it's more of a eggshell white, if that makes sense. It's a, a more muted white she was very comfortable i tried this on i don't know if that's due to the heel height or if it is just the cushion that you see in the middle of this shoe but i have no complaints i feel like if this would have been my right size if i would have purchased the right size this would definitely be a staple and i will wear this over and over for this summer these next shoes make the whole video in themselves okay I jumped out there with these shoes and I'm so glad I did. Y'all will see in the video because me holding these shoes up don't even do it justice. Okay, look at this shoe. Another shoe that you don't have to worry about an anklet and this beautiful, I want y'all to see. So how it's shining on camera is exactly how it shines in person. Everything about the shoe is so sexy and I have the perfect skirt to go with this so i can't wait to pair this outfit together look at this the heel no and she was not uncomfortable i know it may look like it but it's not again we have some long straps um they strap almost to the knee again now really be careful with this uh chain part because as i was putting them on and then i walked to the mirror the train the chain did pop it is not a metal it's more it's the plastic chain so i had to reattach the chain together and that's one thing a con about the shoe i will say but everything else y'all and they have this in blue i need to go get the blue because i'm in love with this orange what it is orange and it is in the style vibes okay it and this shoe is definitely giving off vibes okay this is not an everyday shoe this is like step out look at me and again i can't wait to put this outfit together i really want y'all to get another look at these gorgeous gorgeous shoes y'all ugh everything about this is so sexy now you can just pile the straps at the ankle or strap them up i did strap them up and i love the way that look maybe if i wore these with some jeans i would just wrap it around the ankle y'all no complaints like i said these shoes alone make this video next we have this red heel i picked these out because of the heel detail here, it's a square heel, square toe. I picked out a few, um, let's say, let's middle height heels. Um, I wanted to add some more of those to my collection instead of just having all high heels. I don't really like this on my foot. You'll see in the video. I don't know. It just it's not flattering on my foot. I don't. I don't know. It's not uncomfortable but i don't think this is something that i will be able to just walk around all day in either i don't know what it is about this shoe that i just don't really like online it looked a lot better um one thing like i said i was attracted to the heel but this shoe just doesn't do it for me what do you guys think do you like this shoe i mean it's not ugly it's just not for me if that makes sense moving on to another white heel i have been looking at these for a while they have this in two different colors tan and black two more different colors and i really like the way that this looks now this also has a really wide toe box but it's okay on my foot i got this in a uk6 and the style is eve this is how this looks now they have this same design but the bottom is different in the shoes and they have i actually want to get the green pair that they have 
it's not um like a leather material with the other ones it's more of a woven sole on the other shoes it's really really cute i like the way these look on my feet i feel like this is something i could wear all day i do wish that it came with the little plastic uh covering like two of the other pairs of shoes i showed you but no complaints when it comes to this even though it is a lower heel i feel like it's still cute i feel like you could dress it up or dress it down no complaints all right our next pale pair is in the style nick these are this look at this beautiful green give you guys a close up oh my gosh this is everything this is another pair that i have been watching for a while and i was like let me just go ahead and get them now this material this for the straps it's actually like a button up like a white button up that's how this feels to me so on the legs you don't have to worry about it leaving any impressions once you strap it up which is a really good thing it has this detail heel this pyramid detail heel square toe now the strap is leather and it's covered in um this t-shirt material is what i'm gonna call it i love this they have this in black and white but i think this is the perfect bright green pop of color to add to an outfit again no complaints when it can't comes to this it does have cushion in the heel you can't really see in the video but it does have cushion with this you won't have any problems with this. It'll stay up on the leg. I think because of the type of material it is, it's going to hold on to the leg. So I definitely think y'all should go get a pair of these, okay? They are so cute to wear with a dress and zhuzh up your outfit. Y'all need these. The last pair in this package are these black Bottega dupes. We've all seen these. And I finally got me a pair. I've always been hesitant. But let me tell y'all, when I say this shoe is so comfortable, it's like walking in flats. I've been missing out. I should have gotten these shoes so long ago. The heel is the perfect height. You're going to have a nice breeze on your foot due to the holes here. The square toe is not too big. I definitely want these in red and I'm going to be getting them. This is the perfect addition to your um, shoe collection, I believe. I honestly would even like these if they didn't have the straps attached to them. Now you can take the straps out because they're just looped through here. You can take the straps out. I would not recommend it because then you're just gonna have these loopholes hanging out. So it'll look weird. But I've seen these with um, the chain detail around the ankle. I can't remember where I saw them. But y'all get these super, super comfortable. Um, it does have some cushion here. Now it doesn't have cushion at the ball of your foot right here, surprisingly, but still super comfortable. Love these. Okay, we all know that sometimes we like to make our bikini set sexy and wear heels. This pair of shoes I'm gonna show y'all in the style Divana are the perfect addition to any poolside party, pool day, bikini set, bathing suit set, period. Look at these, they are a, a towel material. I picked them up in this beautiful, blue it was something different they have the long straps i love the way these look they were definitely different and i was like okay i could see me wearing this with my bathing suit at the pool looking sexy and a uh, plus with these they are comfortable i know the heel may be intimidating i know it looks really high but they are not uncomfortable at all and it's really crazy i don't know how they pull this because there is no cushion right here but i don't know if it's the towel material that kind of like hugs the foot i don't know but they made it work that's all i know this does come in other colors i like how long the straps are very small heel this square toe 
this is it has the towel material on the top as well as under the bottom so you don't have to worry about any impressions that's going to be left on the front of your foot y'all get this for your pool day okay you need this this shoe for the summer on vacation okay you need people asking you where did you get your shoes from i don't even have words to express how much i love this shoe bringing it back to pink i have this pretty baby pink in the style roseville now this heel is what made me really want um these shoes look at this at first i had the light blue ones in my cart and i was like you know what i don't have a pair of heels that's this baby pink so i got them um it does strap up the leg now one absolutely amazing detail i feel like they should think about incorporating with a lot more of their shoes is this quilted cushion design y'all can see it. it might be there we go this quilted um cushion design they have in the shoes it gives so much comfort okay they're like a bunch of little pillows on the bottom of your foot i do wish there was more support of going across the foot because this um strap here is really loose so you would catch your foot sliding if you have a narrow foot you would catch your foot foot sliding here and i wish there was more crisscross detail here it, i just felt like it was um missing something but besides that no complaints this heel is more of a um it feels like a tough hollow plastic because it's really really lightweight but you, it's still sturdy i will say that just because it's lightweight doesn't mean it's going to be like wobbly with this shoe it is not like that at all you will get your support and comfort with these shoes this pair of shoes we have seen so many times now because when these came out they came out with a bang okay and almost everyone had them these so I had to grab a pair, okay? I've only seen them in black and tan were the main colors. So I was like, no, I want to be different. So I got them in orange. Look at these. How it's showing up on camera, it's maybe like one shade lighter than what it actually is. It is more of a, a little, maybe a shade darker than a true orange. So and it is patent leather as you can see now when i put these things on i felt like i was six feet tall okay because of the platform because of the chunky heel it is a very um comfortable shoe it's not wobbly but it's very 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 high also it looks like it may be a heavy shoe it is not heavy um i like this heel support detail on the back same color sole it does have cushion just not on the ball of the foot in the shoe but it does have cushion on the sole y'all i don't know if you if you like to be extra tall these shoes will be perfect for you i was a little taken back by how tall i was when i actually put these on it i don't know what i would wear with these but i just knew i had to have them when i saw them okay here's another detail on the heel that i really like here y'all go get this i think i would prefer it in black so i don't know if i would switch them out we'll see but as of right now they are okay um i don't have any outfits in mine well, that's a lie i do have one outfit in mind because i feel like these will look really good um with wide leg jeans but like rolled up so they're, they're just sitting right at the top of the heel here and a flowy shirt this would be so cute it, it is working out in my mind y'all may not get the vision but yes go get these if you want to add a little bit of height for all the the short ladies out there 
you super tall ladies, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm 5'4", and I told you I felt like six. <laughs> I was six feet when I put these shoes on. These shoes are in the style flowing. I got them in a UK 7. Really, really cute detail on the top of your foot. It has that Amina Mawadi inspired heel. If you are the type of woman that likes thigh high straps, this is the shoe for you. Y'all see how much I have wrapped up. When I took them out of the package, I was like, dang, this is a high strap. It strapped up to midway my thigh. That's how long these straps are. Um, so these would definitely be cute with some shorts um, or a high split skirt to show off the straps. I would not recommend wrapping these around the ankle for a gathered look. The strings straps are just way too long for that. But I do like this shoe. I got this in nude. I can't remember what other color they had available, but I felt like I wanted to keep this in a neutral color because of all this that they had going on. I did not realize the strap was this long. It does not show that on the model, but still no complaints, a comfortable shoe because this kind of stretches out a little bit. It is not, a, it doesn't have elastic on it, but it's not tight, I guess what I'm saying. So even if you had a fatter foot, it would fit in here. And also a uh, slim foot fits fine just uh, as well because it's bigger up here than it is a little tighter here, as you can see, but it would not be uncomfortable. We have our square heel. No complaints with this shoe. I don't have anything. It is a leather material i don't know if y'all will be able to tell that but it is a leather faux leather material um the straps are a little bit loose usually when um you have straps it's like a tougher material but these are very i think because the straps are so thin it doesn't give that pain um when i had strapped them up and it didn't leave and end it so i do like that about these straps these shoes, I will give maybe like a eight out of 10, I think for wear. I do feel like I will be able to get a couple hours out of this shoe um, all day, maybe not, I don't know, but we do have this support in the heels. So maybe I would be able to pull it, who knows? I did pick up a booty and the style Valentina and I got this in a UK six, so it is true to size. Um, what drew me to this boot was the heel, as you can see this gold detail, I mean this gold heel here. It is plastic, um, so it gives uh, more of a lightweight feel to the boot. Even though the shoe is true to size, I feel like I will be able to put on a boot sock and still be able to wear it and it be comfortable. It is a Lycra material. So it works. Now how it's coming off on camera is more of a fuchsia, but this is a true purple, I will say. So keep that in mind. It looks, it looks really pinkish on camera. It's not pink at all. It is absolutely um, purple. I do wish that the sole was a different color. You know how I told you I like when the rims match the um, shoes. So I wish I did have that with these but i don't have any complaints they're not uncomfortable at all the heel does look high it's not that high so if you want to get these get um true to size or depending on how you feel this maybe you could size down because like i said i am able to wear a boot sock um with these this next heel in the size uh uk6 and in the style tiffa are these now on camera they look normal size but in person these shoes look so big i don't know and i got them my true size a us8 and they are just so big to me i don't know they look huge and i will tell you that this shoe is really heavy um 
between the platform and the heel i don't know what it's made out of but it is a very heavy shoe i feel like they could have done a different toe i don't know it just does they had this is comforting now this big this bow here it's a lot of cushion and this uh it does have a strap i feel like they could have done without the strap and just did an ankle strap but y'all i don't know i wouldn't recommend this shoe um because of how heavy it is so with that it's going to weigh your foot down and you're not going to be able to last that much or that long in these shoes there is no support on the inside this shoe just was not i don't know i feel like if they change the platform change the heel maybe it'll work but for me i have to give this shoe like a three or four from where um looks of it i'll give it like a six because it looks huge like i said in person it looks really really big it may not it doesn't show up like that on camera so if y'all decide to purchase this just keep that in mind it's going to make your foot look really big and the shoe is really heavy the only great thing about this is this foot strap here because it is like a pillowy cushion going across your foot that is it and that sucks because i really like these shoes when i was seeing them online the bow made it really flirty so i was like oh man i can't wait to wear these this was definitely a summer shoe for me so i am disappointed but that's okay as y'all see i have plenty of other options all right and now on to our final pair of shoes i have is this light cream tannish lycra boot in the style brooks and i got this in a uk six so it's definitely true to size i think this is also another boot that maybe you could possibly size down because i do have enough room to wear boot socks what drew me to this boot of course y'all can see this heel get into this heel it is absolutely gorgeous i want to go back and get this um in black as well I do wish that the ankle part here had more structure and it was a little bit tighter. So it fits when I wear my jeans or whatever pants I decide to wear it in. But other than that, I have absolutely no complaints. Um, this zipper on the side actually helps with putting the boot on because I mean, it doesn't have too much stretch. It has just a, a little bit, but you know, I mean, what can you say about this? The heel um, is plastic, so it gives a lightweight feel to the boot, but the boot still looks extremely expensive. So I love the craftsman craftsmanship in this shoe. No complaints. Go run and get this boot, y'all. I know y'all may feel like, oh, it's too hot, you know, when it's spring or summer, but you can never go wrong with a booty, in my opinion. You can wear it all year round. So this is one I think you should definitely add to your collection. That is the end of today's video. Hopefully I showed you all some shoes that you like that you wanna go out and purchase. And if you're still here, that means that you like this video. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing so that you can join the Lotus Gang so we can see each other each and every week. I do have some more shoe hauls in the work. Also some wig reviews. I want to get more into that. So hopefully you guys will like that, but thank you so much for showing your support and watching. See you guys next time.